Good morning. Great to see you all today. Always great to see you whenever we gather for worship. You know what I like to say? There's other places we could be today. There's other choices we could have made today. We made the right choice, though. We, we're here together as brothers and sisters in faith to offer our prayers and our petitions and our thanksgiving to the Lord for all the gifts in our lives. And I'm pleased that I could be here along with Pastor Hoyster to, to lead you in worship today. And as always, every time we gather for worship, we hear the Word of God, we read the Word of God, we hear and read about God's love for each of us through His Son and through our Savior. And in just a minute, we're going to stand up and greet those around you in that love of God given to us through His Son and our Savior. But first, I just want to remind you, uh, members and visitors alike, please complete an attendance card. There's also a spot on your attendance cards for prayer requests. I think you'd like us take, to take to the Lord later in the, the service. Mark it down on your attendance card. Then when our ushers pick those cards up during the hymn before Pastor Hoyser's message, you'll check to see if anybody has any prayer requests. And again, as always, it's time now. Stand up. Greet those around you in the love of God. What makes Christianity different from essentially every other religion? Uh, imagine that, that you were on a boat out in the middle of Lake Erie or Lake Ontario and it capsizes and, and you're out there by yourself and you've been waiting for someone to, to rescue you and, and no help has come. And you've been treading water and swimming and treading water and swimming, but, but now you're exhausted, now you're tired, and now you're just going under. You're drowning. Every other religion in the world and every world philosophy at this moment says, swim, swim harder, try harder. And you can't. You're going down. Christianity is the only religion, the only world philosophy that is brutally honest about our dire situation and presents a God, a God who gives you a lifeline. And you don't even have to reach up for it. God comes down to you and God puts that lifeline around you and God pulls you up. In Christianity, the focus is not ultimately on us or on the world. It's upon God and what God has done for us hopelessly broken people. When you're yoked with Jesus, he's God. You face this burden. The creator of the universe is with you. The one who defeated sin and death is with you. When you face that burden, the world tells you, swim harder, try harder. Jesus says to you, I love you, and here I am. And he ties that lifeline around you, and he pulls you up, and if need be, he carries you. Through the storms of life, Jesus is your lifeline. 